Hey there, this is Blue One, and I'm showing you the beta version of Guild of Thieves, which has been a work in progress for the past month, I believe. It's a rather large plugin, and all of the updates that I've been bringing for it and trying to get done have been taking considerable amount of time, along with other projects of mine that have been required at different times. So, I'm pretty much just going to show the updates only and not things that I've shown in the previous which are mostly features that I have disabled this time to avoid errors in console while I focus on the current projects. So first off, there is the basic command thief, which is has an alias of T. Both of them will function as I will show here. Opens that. Both of them do the exact same thing. You can choose a category in here. This shows your levels, how many levels you have achieved. The points that you have to get before you obtain a level are configurable. Um, the tools and items GUI are found right here, and the skills GUI is found right here. You click on tools and items. Currently, you can only buy a robber's glove and a lasso. These are both usable. The features are there. I have 30 levels, so I can show you both. I buy a lasso. This is a test that I was running here. You can ignore the boots. The lasso is what you will have in your inventory, and when you right-click on a player with it, or right click towards a player it will launch a projectile at the player I have that feature disabled because as I said I am not bug testing right now I'm trying to avoid errors in console while I get other things set up you will right click and it will launch a projectile with the same trajectory as an arrow and will be a fish hook so that when it hits a player you will be able to pull the player towards you and lock him where he's at by tying him to a fence post that is a planned feature. I may not have it set up exactly like that, but that would be a form of mugging a player, basically. The other thing that you can buy here that you saw is a robber's glove, which is required to um, pickpocket another player. You will right-click on the player, and the lower your level, the lower your chances of opening their inventory. The higher your level, obviously, the higher your chances. When you are a level 10 pickpocket, you have a 100% chance of opening their inventory, but you have a 0% chance of getting any more levels from doing it. So that's a, a rather nice thing about the plugin is you can only advance so far as the skills will allow you to. It's not infinite, which allows players to not become too far ahead of the other players and end up causing issues with that. If you type T space help or thief help or thief with a question mark, it shows this message, which is quite simple. Thief commands and subcommands. Forward slash thief, it shows all of the commands that you can run here. I'll now show you, I can't show you the file. I don't have it recording the screen. I have it recording this game. The, um, the data file for the players is set up let me have a look at it real quick. It creates a new section with the player's name every time the player, any time that the player is not already in the file, logged in there as a thief, and creates the section of their name, adds in a section into their name, points, levels, since. So the points is how many points they've got. The levels obviously are obtained via points. If you have, for instance, 20 points, then you get one level. That's configurable. Since is the time that they started. When they first were logged into the file, it shows me here as 2341.24, which, which is 23 hours, 11 o'clock, 41 minutes, so it's 11.41 and 24 seconds. Again, that was 23 colon 41 colon 24. The date is shown recited after a comma as 5 slash 22 slash 2016, which would of course be May 22nd, 2016. The underneath since is skills. All of these are inside blue one, which is the player's name. Skills does not have anything set to it. Instead, it has four sections inside of it, one called pickpocket, which has a level set to it, parkour, another level, safe crack, a level set to that as well, and ninja. The four classes that are defined here will be upgradable through the GUI, which I will now show you. You type forward slash T, you will go into skills. These are currently all set to boots. They will all have their own items. Parkour is the first. It will 
when you click on it will open an inventory that will allow you to upgrade your speed, your jump boost, which will both be lost upon death, and as well as a couple of other little potion type skills, but there's some interesting skills that will be added as well, such as the ability to climb vines that are hanging in the air simply by shifting, the ability to extend your jump distance, um, the ability to double jump and the cooldown for that will be decreased as your level increases. Such other parkour like skills being able to climb a flat wall will be included in there as well. Pickpocket here will open an inventory um, where you will be able to reach people from different distances so the higher your level um, the, the, depending on which portion you've upgraded, the greater your distance you can be away from them when you pickpocket them, the more items you can take before the inventory closes, um, the further the player has to move before he notices that you are indeed trying to pick his pocket. Other such upgrades for pickpocket. Safe Crack will have a locksmith kit which can be improved. It will allow you to open doors and go through doors that are not openable under normal circumstances. For instance, in somebody's kingdom or faction, you will be able to right-click on a door with a key or with this lock-picking kit, and will be able to open the door and it will shut a moment later so as to not leave it open, and that will have a cooldown that is also decreased as your skill level increases. Um, you will also be able to, with higher levels, open up chests and later on, um, I may implement being able to open up people's other people's ender chests, which would be a very high level feature. If you are one of the highest levels, you could possibly open somebody's ender chest, depending on who placed the chest. Of course, that would then have to be stored, and only chests placed after the plugin's initialization would be able to be accessed by these high level thieves. Ninja will have some interesting features, such as being able to do much of the parkour things, but also being able to go invisible at times, being able to remain on a wall, being able to spectate a player, which will be very interesting as you can then follow them into their home and come out of their body and then attack them. You will also be able to disguise as animals and walk through one wall, th uh, one block thick walls. Other such features and abilities will be found in the ninja class depending on your level. That is my plan for that. So, as you can see here, this is the back arrow, which will go to the previous inventory. I do not have that, the previous GUI, my apologies. I do not have that implemented right now, just as I do not have these GUIs implemented. They, I have not finished debugging them enough to be comfortable showing them on a beta showcase. So, that is the features I have for that at the moment. Currently, the permissions for those are... Uh, let me get my plugin up here so I can actually see not get anything screwed up. Where's my commands class? There you are. Commands class is 239 lines long so it's a rather large thing. I made sure that it is 100% foolproof. It cannot have an error thrown regardless of how you type any given command. It will ask you to correct the command and will give you a clue as to how to correct it and if it cannot find what your problem is. It will simply tell you to type forward slash thief space help in order to get all available commands and subcommands. So it is entirely bug free. Um, you need permission thief.use in order to type, in order to use the command thief or forward slash t. If you type it and you do not have the permission or are not opt, op overrides all commands then it will send you a message saying you do not have permission to use this command. It's a very generic message. It does have the prefix of the plugin, so that allows you to know which plugin it is that the message is coming from. If you have permission thief.help, you can then type thief space help, but normal players will never need to type this as all the all the commands they need to know is forward slash t or forward slash thief. They know, don't need to know any other commands. That will open the GUI and from there they can do anything they want. If you have the permission thief.stats.others, then you can type the command thief space and then another player's name and it will tell you all of their stats 
regardless of whether or not they are online it will get the name from the uh, file it'll loop through all offline players everybody who's ever been there if you've typed one of their names it'll see if their name is in the file if it is it'll tell you their information if it's not it'll tell you this is not a valid player if you have thief.stats.self, which is a different permission, so that you can access your own stats, then you can type forward slash thief space your own name, and it will allow you to get your own statistics. Thief.admin is required to pardon somebody, to clear any of their stats or all of their stats, and to set any or all of their stats. You can set each individually, or you can do forward slash thief space player name space set space all space and then an integer telling what level to set everything which includes points levels and all skills I believe that's all for permissions I'm not seeing anything that I've missed here the base command is just thief that is the only base command the only command that needed to be registered and is thus very lightweight um, it does not involve vault. This does not require having a currency as this keeps its own levels and points in the file. You should never have to update or change the player data file manually. You should be able to make any changes you want to from inside the game. If you change it manually you must be very careful not to remove a section as it does not check for that section being there and if it does not find it when it needs to it will throw an error. As the file will end up being very big, I do not want to go through the trouble of trying to fix that, so simply use the in-game built-in feature to change anything that you like. The file builder class is 140 lines. I'll give you a basic size of the plugin here. The messages class is only 64 lines. Buying class is only 41. The uh, commands, I already told you how big that one was. The GUIs class is only 79 lines. Items is currently at 152. It will be growing to approximately three times this size, so I'm expecting it to be at least 450, if not close to 500 lines. It will indeed be a large class. Main class is 131 lines. Um, See, the Rob Listener class, which is what listens for when a player is robbed, is currently 133 lines, and I expect to be expanded to 180 to, one, to 220 lines approximately. File Builder class, I believe I've already stated that as 140. Uh, I will not need the Economy class anymore. That's only 17 lines to get rid of, so it's not going to make any noticeable difference. This is a large plugin, but I am making it as lightweight as I possibly can. The fire fan here just wanted to be in the video, and if anything, if he needed help with anything, he could help out with that. But I don't think we'll be needing to show anything, as I have all features disabled for the beta version showcase here. So that is what I have gotten done so far. Um, it is going quite nicely. I will show you what the Vaults plugin looks like. Um, I'll load that up right now, actually. I'll have to open it. One moment, please, while I do this. Open up Eclipse. We'll run it. We're going to have to find the file that this vaults, real vaults plugin is found in. It does implement vault as it stores money. You can store a configurable amount in each vault. Um, let's see, where is it at? It'll be in plugin space, perhaps, and it would be called real vaults if it is. Of course, it might be called test. I'm not sure. I have approximately 40 plugins in here, so it's hard to keep track of them. Um, Real Vaults, there you are. Open. So only take a moment while I get this exported into the server so that I can show you the basics of what's going on there. As you've only seen how the vault will look, you have not seen any of its functions, and that's rather unacceptable seeing is it's a very large plugin that will be used with Guild of Thieves you should then be able to see how it will work in conjunction with it I believe we've got it open now successfully yes we have I will now proceed to export we we'll select it we'll right click it's being a little bit slow as it's trying to load it up there are approximately 1000 lines in this plugin perhaps more I'm not exactly sure 
I have not counted. Export, next, finished, yes. Okay, we have an error. Let's refresh and restart. Export, next, finish, that worked. We will now reload. It was not found. We have an error. Could not load. No wonder I had it disabled for testing. With Guild of Thieves. I had forgotten about that error. Um, something about my Java version. I had done a lot of coding while I was not at home on that plugin and in fact had done more than 75%. I would say even more than 85% of that plugin's work while I was not at home. And I was using Java 8 where I was on this computer and in this server I'm using Java 7 and it is not compatible with the Eclipse that I have. So I will need to do that in a later video. But you have seen Guild of Thieves. It functions as it should. Everything that I have made and I am hoping to make it much, much more interesting in the future than it already is. This was a bank that I had set up. You can ignore this entirely. So that's what I have set up so far. Um, console shows no errors with Guild of Thieves. I have tested for many and even tried very hard to find an error and have found nothing. So. Uh, I'll keep working on that and see what I can get done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are not <laughs> the owner of Terra Mining and you enjoyed this video, I ask that you like this video and subscribe perhaps if you want to see more videos like it. You can always request a video in the comments. I'm glad to see any comments or suggestions that you have. If you have a friend that needs help with a plugin, I'm more than willing to help. I have been coding now for five months, but in that time I have written around 40 plugins and am a developer on a major server. So I would like to help with any th problems that you might have. I am also for hire um, making plugins, custom plugins, that are no larger than 1,200 lines. I will not make a plugin larger than that at the moment as I have, as you can see by this video, some very large project. And so anyways, good luck coding, and I'll see you next time.